Hi, I'm Adam, and I get the pleasure of walking you through a live demo of what we've actually built today. <laughs> live demos are a little risky, so if there are any hiccups, I'd appreciate you guys being patient. Um, I'd like to start with cover feed and what really is my favorite part of the product, which is the moment you turn on your phone. As Mark mentioned earlier, you turn on your phone roughly 100 times a day or more. You do so while you're waiting in line to buy something for lunch, or maybe you're on an airplane waiting for it to take off, or you might be checking your phone right now. <laughs> I can see someone checking their phone. <laughs> uh, typically, all you see is the clock, and if you're lucky, maybe a snippet of an email or a calendar invite, but not much more. And what we aspire to do with Home is provide a lot more value in that moment. And so, as soon as you turn on your phone, this is what you see. It's a, actually, that's, the, that's you guys right now. <laughs> this is cover feed. Uh, you see the clock briefly, your profile picture, so that you know that it's your phone, and this visually rich news feed we call cover feed. It'll automatically slide from story to story to story if you like, and you want to sit back and watch. And so let's go through this. Elizabeth, she's a content strategist on the team. Looks like she checked in somewhere. Here's a story on Instagram. It's a photo story. Open graph stories with large images show up on cover feed, and we're really excited to see that. You'll see link shares, status updates. This is Julie Zhu. She's a designer here. That's a pretty sweet photo. Here's a, here's a status update, also from Julie. So for status updates, what we did is we wanted to feel consistent with the photo stories. So we used the cover photo as the background, but then we put your text in the front so you could know, or th so there was a clear distinction of what you were seeing. Let's go through some more stuff. That's me. That's a little embarrassing. And so if you see a photo you like, you can long press it to have it zoom out like I did before. Or you can double tap it to like, and it'll just show you a big little like icon right underneath your finger. That's Justin. He worked really hard on this presentation. So I'm going to like that, too. And you can swipe through. If you see something you want to comment on, well, let's find something that already has comments. No comments, no comments, no comments. Oh, we'll just make a new comment. You just tap the comment icon in the bottom right. Oh, I missed it. And it'll open up the comments in line. Oh, someone did comment. So I can say, hi, because that's short, and I'm doing a demo. And when I'm done, I can just swipe it away. And so what we've tried to do is really design a delightful, simple experience. And we've relied pretty heavily on very basic gestures, swiping, tapping, pressing, to make it so that there's nothing between you and your content. You can directly just reach out and touch it. You realize there's no Chrome here. There's no logo. There's no nav. It's the content first. So that's cover feed. And that's really the foundation of what we've built. 